Action SA comes into power, they, I'm very clear we ex the South Africa will not be part of BRICS. Not that I will not do business with uh, with other party with uh, with other countries, but uh, Russia it's a liability. It, uh, Russia it's a liability. They trained uh, this ANC people to dis uh, destroy. For 30 years they were in exile. They were teaching them to destroy and uh, and steal. I've always made it clear to South Africans that I believe in an unracial society. This whole be nonsense and uh, uh, employment equity. Welcome to another episode of MT. So the founder and leader of Action Essa did an interview with Biz Talk, and this is what he shared in that interview, and it got a lot of black people outraged. So, a lot of people are starting to ask themselves if Herman is the right person to vote for come 2024 elections, especially after that interview with Biz Talk. A lot of people took it to TikTok about how unhappy they are about his stunts on BE, employment equity, and affirmative action. This stems largely from the inequality that exists in South Africa due to apartheid laws that were designed to advance white people. He seems not to understand that in order to address these inequalities, one would have to deliberate in creating more opportunities for black people. One example I can give to illustrate what I am talking about. Now imagine you are a teacher and you have one child who was off sick for the first six months of the calendar year because of cancer and she is now feeling better and ready to resume with her studies and in five months they have to write exams. The big question is, do you provide her with extra learning material and lessons or do you tell her to self-determine? Now a lot of people on TikTok were talking about how they will rather vote for the EFF because he clearly doesn't represent them and he has no interest in closing the gap between the rich and poor and we all know that the poor in South Africa are generally black. Another thing I do not get about Herman is, why would he be teaming up with the Dia and the Moonshot Pact when they conspired with the NC to have him removed as the mayor when he was on the verge of uncovering corruption and having those who are guilty arrested for stealing government money in the city of Johannesburg? I'm of the opinion that his funder dictates to him who he should work with. He worked with the EFF and now they are monsters and he will not work with them. These are my thoughts as to what could be wrong with the man. Please do share yours in the comments section and please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, see ya.